Chapter 2. The old model of learning can't get us to where we need to go. We can read all the books in the world. Most of us have a stack of them gathering dust somewhere in the house. We can listen to all the podcasts, complete all the online courses, and attend all the seminars available at our fingertips. We've all left the 4.5 star reviews and got the certificates sitting in our bottom drawer to prove it. And they're great. Great, at least, for gathering knowledge. Great for knowing more things. Great for reciting more facts, phrases, and figures. But knowledge in this world isn't power, no matter how much we've been led to believe it is. Power in this world is the ability to take knowledge and turn it into a result. Power in this world isn't just having chips on the table, it's being able to turn those chips into an outcome, even if that outcome is just more chips. But the mass majority of business trainings don't deliver power, they only deliver knowledge. They ensure you know more things, which is fine, but if a builder doesn't know how to use a hammer, giving him more hammers isn't going to solve his problem. The more knowledge model of education is broken, and in a lot of cases is a waste of precious time and money. The value it provides is equivalent to being given a new car with no confidence to drive it. Tickets to all the greatest music concerts in the world in the hands of a deaf person. An original copy of To Kill a Mockingbird given as a gift to someone who only speaks and reads Mandarin. A royal flush handed to someone who thinks they're playing blackjack instead of poker. Are these things valuable? Absolutely. Do they hold the same value in the hands of someone with no idea what it's worth? Absolutely not. The same goes for the business and sales trainings we invest in as learners in the modern world. Is the knowledge imparted on all the podcasts, in all the books, and at all the seminars valuable? Most definitely. But what if people aren't yet the person ready to truly receive the essence of what they're learning? Then most definitely not. I say this as both a student and a trainer, a mentor and a mentee, a creator and a consumer. The one sitting in the chair soaking it up and the one responsible for putting the chairs there in the first place. And that's actually ultimately why we created the sales game to begin with. It was when we truly had this realisation that we vulnerably admitted something needed to change. Transparency moment coming up. We had both spent a relatively impressive amount of time at the front of the sales training room. We had really come to be able to deliver our respective trainings with ease and simplicity. We knew the words that were about to come out of our mouths hours before they were even said. We knew when our audiences were about to laugh, about to cry, about to have a breakthrough moment. The knowledge we were imparting to our audiences was abundant. And because of that, we had heard all the positive feedback. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Out of all the trainings I've attended, this one is going to be the one that changes it all for me. This was exactly what I needed. Ready to go out there and finally start closing those sales. We've even both still got the training feedback sheets from years past sitting in our wardrobes to look back on. We're super appreciative and grateful for this feedback. It's been extraordinary to be a part of people's knowledge journey. But as you can likely imagine, and likely have even experienced yourself as a student, I know I have, is what happens when the training is over and it's time to go home and implement what you've learned. The first day back, you're full of motivation. The second day back, you're trying to cling on to that inspired feeling you had in the room. By the time the end of the first week hits, you've forgotten 80% of what you learned and your default settings have kicked right back in. And that problem you came to the event to solve? Yep, it's still there. You know a lot of new things, but being the person that implements them daily, that's a whole other form of transformation required. You've got the keys in your hand, but you've never driven manual in your life. You've got the chips in your hand, but are paralyzed with fear in using them, even though you've got a whole five pages of full of notes on how to do so. And to be bluntly honest, you're unfortunately not the only one, which isn't the way we wanted it to be. It isn't the way any trainer of sales or business wants it to be. It's just a reality of the typical adult education world, which is why we had to create a training that wasn't typical. We had to create a training that not only gave people knowledge and content, but that they had no choice but to become empowered to actually put it to use starting immediately. We had to create a training that put the chips in people's hands and showed them through pure experience how to place the best bet possible. 
we had to create an environment that encouraged them to make as many mistakes as possible in a fully supportive group setting. Now the feedback we receive isn't about how much people love the training. The feedback is about how much action people are taking. They send photos of the new products and services they've created for clients. They send us the videos they've shot for their communities that they were far too afraid to before. They send us messages about the deals they just closed and the significant value to which they were able to close them. And they don't do this within months of the event. They do it within days. One woman literally booked an out-of-the-blue costume shopping trip to Bangkok for her dance studio, all before bidding on a new apartment at the high end of town that she says she never would have done if not for the self-awareness she gained through the sales game. Another went on to turn her team of two into a team of ten and add tens of thousands to her bottom line while she did it. Another player has gone from sitting at the four to five K a month mark in her business to recently closing 50 grand worth of business in three weeks. A hammer without empowerment to go with it is simply a hammer. But combine a hammer with a person empowered with confidence to build and the Eiffel Tower looks damn stunning lit up at night. Role plays have left the building. One thing we often hear from those curious to explore what the sales game is all about is, so like, is there role plays or do we practice sales conversations or from which our response is always, role plays are just a distraction from the real learning that needs to happen. Maybe if you were going to acting school, role plays are perfectly fine. It gives the person time to practice the part, master the pauses, and make the audience believe they are actually someone else. Sales and business, on the other hand, is the exact opposite of that. The market is starved of true human connection only amplified by our modern, smartphone-led world full of social apps. The market wants to know who you really are and love to see someone comfortable and confident within their own skin. That is who they want to buy from. We believe giving people scripts, teaching them how to say it perfectly whilst forcing them to articulate things in ways they never would in the real world, is a surefire way to create anxiety and a strange form of disconnect when the buyer can sense, but often can't say, that there is just something off about that person. So, we prefer to create simulation environments whereby the attendees are free to be 100% themselves in a safe place that gives them immediate, raw and honest feedback of whether their particular strategy is paying them chips. What we find is extraordinary. Those who put on the act often fail miserably from their fellow gamers. Those who decide to be courageously honest, confident within themselves, share stories and reveal pure intentions and parts of themselves that they may never have before with strangers, let alone the closest people in their lives, are the ones who are rewarded massively. We are seeing 5x, 10x and even 20x multiples of their starting chips. Who would have thought that the single best strategy of this modern world is to be yourself? Seek true connection with others often facilitated through considerate personalization, all the while getting rid of the act. You know, I, I came into this event uh, with 35 years business experience, um, thinking, oh, I'm really experienced, this is going to be, yeah, it might be interesting, no idea what to expect, but the amount of uh, learning and the amount of um, information that came back at us was incredible. I've, I've changed, my whole paradigm has changed in the last 48 hours. It's, it's certainly a, a, a seminar or an event if you like, it's more than a, more than a seminar, it's an event um, that would shift you and change you and I would highly recommend it to anybody who's in business or anybody who's in life.